Hi, my name is John Jewell, and I am running for Santa Monica City Council. I would like to speak about sustainability. Sustainability must be taken as a precaution against more job loss. The last thing that anybody wants to see is unemployment rates going up in the city of Santa Monica, or God forbid, over three to 400 more city employees losing their jobs. I'm not the only candidate who cares about Santa Monica city workers keeping their jobs, guaranteeing their pensions don't get lost. But I am the only candidate who has an edge on job creation and opportunity zone. The edge that I offer is a commiserability to work with the federal government and all branches, the DOJ, the Treasury Department, HUD, Secretary Ben Carson, and the creation of opportunity zones. But before we can open for business, we have to make Santa Monica safe again. We also want to make sure that we have clean drinking water, that we battle teen pregnancy, drug addiction. We need to battle the lack of funding for our schools to reopen safely. We need to discuss combating ethnic tensions, intangible civil, and political unrest in the city. As we've seen, the riot and looting is going on in other cities and it can return to our city. We need to address this issue. Indeed, there are even other viruses, HIV AIDS, the annual flu, and no one knows how long the pandemic will last. Perhaps it'll come back every year, just as the flu does. So we need to start with a new plan of recovery, an emphasis on economic recovery. We need all of the help that we can get. And that's why I'm calling for a collaboration between the local authorities and the FBI. I'm a lifelong Republican, and I have been able to work on both sides of the aisle. Being a civil diplomat in a Baltic state in Eastern Europe is not necessarily a politician. But when everyone in that country sees the first American that they've seen in 40 years, it's easy to mistake me for a politician. And so I got my documents and my passport visa based on being an expert in transparency and democracy. I answered thousands of questions when I first arrived in Eastern Europe because being born and raised in America, I know more about democracy than anyone that was living behind the Iron Curtain. And so I am dedicated to keeping that education and American history and culture part of the American school system, because like me, I'm sure that our children will grow up and go to places that they've never encountered democracy before. And it's important to learn that in school as a child, like I did. My first priority is law and order. My second priority is economic recovery. And my third priority is kind of a combination of both the second and the first priority. And that is a technological and personal security. And now I will give a brief explanation of how I plan to achieve that. On the issue of law and order, on day one, I would implement the FBI's Uniform Crime Statistics Program. The UCR 
is a nationwide cooperative statistic sharing program sharing effort of nearly 18,000 city university and college county state tribal and federal land law enforcement agencies voluntarily reporting data on crimes brought to their attention with the budget cut that the city council has already approved a critical race theory training program for city employees our funds under my gavel would be reappropriated away from these types of destructive morally and ethically destructive programs and redirected to rehire sworn officers that had lost their jobs and focus on the uniform crime reporting cooperative as well as hiring 12 social workers to work with the multidisciplinary homeless street team already cooperating with the Santa Monica Police Department. As a proud member of the Republican Party since I was 18 years old, I would use tireless efforts to call our constituents in Washington and even, yes, the White House and the administrative offices of the White House to introduce in a timely manner joint operational concepts between Santa Monica Police, the Coast Guard, and the U.S. military to put in place and fund a national aquatic defense strategy over the maritime boundary off the Santa Monica Beach. Could mean government jobs and contracts in defense, aerodynamics, the space program, Santa Monica being a home of the new Silicon Valley techs, would already have the infrastructure and the technicians in place to take those jobs. That is my first priority. A Santa Monica that is open for business, technologically, public safety firsthand. My second priority is obtaining approval from government agencies to create opportunity zones here in Santa Monica where tax cuts and jobs obtained a special status by the law approved in December of 2017. The opportunity Zone Investment Fund Act. The Opportunity Zone offers investors the ability to invest realized capital into real estate projects and businesses. A homeless vet yesterday might find himself working in one of these Opportunity Zones and eventually even obtaining affordable housing there. Developing affordable housing for city workers in different tax brackets is an important part of the second priority, as well as technological and personal safety. I will begin to introduce an entirely new industry. After three years at Santa Monica College Center for Media and Design, I have a keen understanding of the 3D generation before us. And my own uncle, Mark Jewell, created the software for a company called Exact Lab, located in Quebec, Canada. 3D printers can print a magic wand and bring manufacturing back to Santa Monica. It's just that easy. With 3D printing, 
You can keep up with the supply and demand of the public by simply changing the software program. The printer can print anything. And with manufacturing right next door, small businesses, including businesses started in the opportunity zone, such as grow houses, can also become retail shops. And the retailers can change in an instant what their suppliers are and what they need. And the manufacturing warehouses in Santa Monica can keep up with them all because more than one warehouse can become a manufacturer for retailers, local and international. I guess the cat's out of the bag and I sure hope that the city explores and further investigates this entrepreneurial idea. But I also hope and pray for the city that they vote for me and elect a real idea man on the city council whose young and fresh ideas originate in the center of my skull and accentuate through the articulation of my lips for the benefit of all who can hear. Let those with ears hear. Now my third priority is short and sweet. I've kept you long enough and I promise this will pretty much sum up my entire tenure. And my four years, if all I can do is these first two priorities and this third priority being the cherry on the top, this is what I would propose. The reopening of our schools and businesses is a priority. To quantify our technological and social wellness by leaps and bounds, by achieving points one and two of my priorities, I've practically covered the third automatically. The internal technological security of America is at stake, and we're on the cutting edge of technology in Santa Monica. And we have the talent right here locally to manufacture and guarantee internal technological security. The kind of security that guarantees our freedoms is also a promise to each resident that I will, that it will restore our personal wellness. Our schools will be safe again. Our business is safe. When we are ecologically sustained by the markets, need, supply and demand, we will lead normal lives again. Blarney, honesty is the best policy. We will lead normal lives again, all of us, every race, creed, color and culture in this multi-cultural diversity, the pressure cooker of downtown Santa Monica, thriving, self-sustaining, well, open for business, and back to normal life again. I'm John Patrick Jewell III, and I'm running for city council. Vote for me.